big, big support, very important. The best money we've ever spent. Hmm. Thank you so much. No, it's, you know, we're on four, let's see, this is 457th day of a war that was supposed to last three days. Yeah. You amaze me. Your country amazes me. I mean, you remind me of our better selves in America. That there was a time in America that we were this way. Fighting to the last person, we're going to be free or die. Free or die. Free or die. Now you are free. Yes. And we will be. And the Russians are dying. And the Russians are dying. And the Russians are dying. But it's not a territorial dispute. It's never been a territorial dispute. And 90% of the resources that we send over to Ukraine is guaranteed as a loan. It is not 90% of the money that we send over there is loan. Well, we can talk about this, but at the end of the day, 90% of the money that we send over there is actually We're in the form of loan. It's We're not, not actually not be paid by Ukraine, it's paid by the NATO, our NATO allies. So I think it's number a good one, topic. Number two. I it's think a it's a really topic good topic for debate. Too, I will say, let's, t let's, let's debate the fact that our national vital interest is in degrading the Russian military. By degrading the Russian military, we actually keep our homeland safer, we keep our troops at home, and we all understand Article 5 of NATO. We have when to level fact, with the American people. Can, I, I thought you and said I something just, about waiting until your turn to I, talk. I so well, hold on there. So at the end point, of the day, I'm going to finish my, I'll be happy to debate ahead, this. I'll, I'll be, look forward to this one right now. Um, so at the end of the day, when you think about the fact that if you want to keep American troops at home, the attack on NATO territory would bring us and our troops in. By degrading the Russian military, we reduce, if not eliminate, a ta an attack if on I, if I, if I NATO may, territory. Finish that exchange. We have to level with hey, the American people. We have to level with the American people on this issue. The reality is we just because, just because. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So, I don't know if anyone here wants to hear anything on this topic, but I want to talk a little bit about Lindsey Graham. And I think the only time I've ever done a video about him was when he was getting completely freaking roasted by his home crowd at a Trump rally. But, but here's the thing. I've been watching this guy basically my entire adult life, and I'm still not entirely sure where I stand on this guy. You know, I've been back and forth, back and forth, and basically the only thing that has stayed constant through this time is I do not trust Lindsey Graham. And when you really break it down, no matter what the guy says, Everything he does is establishment rhino. And he tries to talk like a populist. He tries to pretend like he's one of us. But he's a rhino, an establishment rhino. But luckily for us, every time any of us start trusting the guy and thinking that he is on our team, he winds up on some Sunday morning show reminding the world of who and what exactly he is. And here he is making his rounds, doing the media blitz, trying to sell the American people on more war, more bloodshed, more American money protecting the borders and sovereignty of other nations before we even think of focusing on our own. And I'll say this, you know, a lot of politicians, they get out there and they just say what they're told and that's it. And I'm sure he does a lot of that. He does a lot of what he's told. But I think Lindsey Graham is even more troubling than that. You know, he, he's not just doing what he's told. He truly believes with every fiber of his being that the war in Ukraine is the best money that you and me have ever allowed our government to spend on our behalf. And just to remind everyone that's watching, you know, they make it sound when they sell it to us, you know, that we're funding war, that we're helping them defend themselves against an invading force. And that all sounds great. That sells. But that's not exactly true. You know, we are literally propping up every single business, every single politician, every industry, every public service and every person in Ukraine as well. We are funding and protecting that country better than we have ever funded or protected even one American city. And here we have Lindsey Graham out begging for more. So let's take a look at what he's got to say. We're back now with South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Uh, good to have you Thank here you. in good person, morning. Senator. You just voted for a short-term deal that doesn't include a cent yeah. for Ukraine yeah. nor for the U.S. border. Right. How did you swallow that? We had to keep the government open. We got 45 days to fix both problems. Uh, I, I listened to Kevin closely. Uh, there will come out of the Senate soon a bill that will have three legs to it. Disaster funding, we need more, not less. 
uh, robust funding for Ukraine to get them through the next fighting season, not 24 billion, and a major effort to secure our border. I believe there's bipartisan support in the Senate to do both, and it will go to the House hopefully in the next 30 days. What the speaker was talking about, though, was a bill, H.R. 2, regarding the border that Senate Democrats will never get on board. There will so be what a are comp- you talking about? Right. So we got to fix asylum. We need border security agent increases. We need more detention beds. I think there's Democratic support for major border security reform, but we have to attach it to Ukraine. To those who say we need to fix our border, you're right. To those who say we need to help Ukraine, you're right. To those who say we need to do the border, not Ukraine, you're wrong. So guys, listen to what this man just said. If you think we need to continue to fund Ukraine, you're right. If you think we need to fix and protect our own border, guess what? You're also right. But if you think we need to fix our own border sovereignty situation before we fix Ukraine, or even at the same time, well, you're wrong. Apparently, according to him, Americans can wait. And to quote Mike Pence, that's just not our concern. And notice he also didn't say that if we want to fund Ukraine and not the border, that you're wrong. I mean, the dude does not care. As long as he gets his cash for his sugar baby, he doesn't even give a second thought to you or your annoying border that you're so concerned about. And I promise you, man, and, and you know, with these guys out here talking like this, I promise you 45 days from now, Senate Democrats will have them bent over a barrel and they're going to give them every dime for Ukraine and not one cent for the U.S. border. The vast majority of Senate Republicans would support a combination of border security, Ukraine funding, and disaster aid. Mm-hmm. Well, when it comes to the House yeah. <laughs> and the, the idea that we got to move swiftly, right? Right. The White House told Republican leadership that they don't have enough funding for Ukraine to make it through 45 days, and the authorities they have are insufficient. Yeah. Well. So how much time are you talking about needing? You know, I've been around a while. I'm wearing a pen. Do you think I would leave Ukraine? Hang- I don't believe that one bit. This same White House says we don't need F-16s. We don't need high Mars. We don't need tanks. I've lost confidence in their evaluation of what's going on in Ukraine. We've got a bunch of allies. They can help for six weeks. The allies have spent more money in Ukraine than we have. And when you hear otherwise, it's just not true. Bro, just going off available math, we've given $75 billion. And Ukraine themselves claims to have, in total, accepted $113 billion. So where the senator is getting his figures, I'd really love to know. I assume he's using some sort of you know fancy math, like Poland gave some rifles that the government valued a million dollars a piece, sort of thing. You know that kind of government scam they do. But however he's coming up with it, it really doesn't matter. You know it's not a contest. You know if we had given more by every funny math trick, you know would that mean that we can call it? You know and stop adding to the bill? No, of course not. Just that's just empty misdirection. You know he wants us to give until we have to borrow from the Chinese to keep on giving more. And honestly, guys, you know, the left always talks about how Trump changed the Republican Party or how he changed the Republican voter as it's some sort of bad thing. It's not. You know, I used to be right in line with these people. I used to believe everything that they said because they were our guys on our side. But but that guy's, you know, that is how you get lied into a war and, and kept in the war by both wings of the uniparty establishment who have found a way to view and treat foreign wars as their cash cow. And and that's why I'm doing this video, man. You know, maybe I'm naive. You know, I'm not sure what you want to call me, but I cannot stand rhino neocons anymore. You know, I'll just, I'll jump back into the video here. But guys, before we do, thanks to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. Really, really appreciate the growth. You know, we're building an awesome community here. If you haven't joined us yet, guys, help us with the algorithm. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. It's been good burden sharing, but I'm not worried about the next six weeks. I'm worried about next year. We will produce in the United States Senate Ukraine funding 60 or 70 billion, not 24, to get them through next year. We will have a border security measure that is strong, and we will have additional disaster aid because the nation needs it. We're going to do those three things, and I'm hoping our House colleagues will react positively to it. I think Kevin is the right guy at the right time. The only way he loses his job is if a handful of Republicans join up with the Democratic Party to fire him. That would be a disaster for the future of the Republican Party. That's not going to happen. Kevin has the 
overwhelming confidence of his membership. He worked to avoid a shutdown. Mm -hmm. He will help Ukraine, but he's telling everybody in the country, including yeah. me, you better send something over for the border for me to help Ukraine. And he's right to make that demand. Understand, but you're look. You're talking about to be clear, a supplemental bigger than twenty four billion dollars for Ukraine, and that's going to pass bigger. in forty five days. Oh, absolutely. You know, <laughs> listen to this fool, man. The president himself is asking for twenty four billion dollars, and this dude wants to give almost three times that. He wants to make sure that they have funding for years and years of war, just in case he can't hold us hostage again anytime soon to get it. And then he's saying, you know, but look, if we want to launder this much through Ukraine. We've got to do some small pittance towards the border or the dummies at home are never going to go for it. Okay. Why? Because we need it. We haven't I, lost one soldier in the Ukraine. We yeah. spent less than 5% of our military budget. 50% of the Russian army has been destroyed by the Ukrainians. They would be at Crimea already if, it, if the administration hadn't been so slow right. in giving weapons. <laughs> and there we have what the military calls mission creep. You know, they told us that this was just about expelling the Russians from the land that they currently hold. And, and now we have the truth. Well, we, we've had the truth for a long time, but we they want to take back what the Obama administration allowed Russia to take the last time we watched this movie. And here's the thing. You know, if that really is their goal, they're willing to stare down a nuclear war for it. And mark my words, if they think, you know, that they're almost there and all it would take is just a little American muscle, a couple F-22s and some special forces, they will absolutely 100% do that. And, you know, what we're looking at here. He's a crazy person. And guys, that honestly, that's about as much as I can take about this guy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.